This is going to be your reading for October 17th through the 23rd. Um, I tried to do you guys reading um, a little while ago, and I was super excited. Like, this feeling inside when I um, was doing the reading. And then, like, I just felt like I could not go on. It was it was kind of weird. And um, same with Gemini. And I don't know whether it's because, I'll keep that. I don't know whether it's because um, I am an Aries and Gemini rising. So, but with both of you, it was like, what is going on here? So we're gonna try again with a different deck. And we're going to go for it. Pull that one out. That one out. Alright, let's see what we got, Aries. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And that's, that may be what I was like feeling like overwhelmed um, for some reason. I couldn't, I can't really explain it, but transformation occurs through acceptance trust once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so acceptance is key here we you know i know a lot of times we want to try to fix things but sometimes we can't fix things you know we just have to allow things to happen naturally and then a lot of times they will transform themselves whichever way they're supposed to go so and then we have embrace through each other you find the missing pieces okay Trust and believe. So we're gonna go with the trusty gilded tarot this time. Okay. Let's see. Lord, please show the messages of Aries. What does Aries need to know? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. I like to check my, my Venus and Jupiter as well. So I include that sometimes because I'm Aquarius in both. So <clears throat> trust just kind of, when I was shuffling these cards, kind of made its way up in the middle. Um, so, we'll leave that right there. Okay, Aries, let's see what we got for you guys for October 17th through the 23rd. If you guys, these, these are general readings, of course. They're not going to resonate with everybody. So, if you guys feel like you need something a little more personalized, you're more than welcome to hit me up and on my email, in my email, which is listed in the description box below. And we can chat about, you know, what it is that you actually need, okay? All right, Aries, let's see what we got for you guys. I'm gonna cut these cards. What do we have on the bottom of this deck? Let's see what we got. Overall energy is a king of swords. Somebody that is very intelligent, um, you know, stands in their own truth, does not put up with any crap, can be a lawyer. Um, somebody that is a judge, um, motivational speaker, but there's somebody that's very, um, very intellectual, very tactful. Um, of course, if it was like this, and depending on what it's next to, you know, they can also be very cutting, very cunning. Um, but overall, this is somebody that can, you know, relay a message where you can receive the message and it's received well. Okay, so let's get started here. What do we got? Ooh, having a hard time. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new start, five of swords. Ooh, that's conflict. Empty victory. We'll see about that. Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords. Aries, I feel like you have started something 
you're on to a new beginning. You have an Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Swords right here. You, Whatever happened in this situation, which it looks like it was probably a lot of um, backbiting, arguing um, that happened. And you had kind of lost your way at one point. I feel like you've turned your back on that. And I feel like, you know, you don't need anybody to tell you the truth because you, you see it for what it is at this point. It's what I feel. I also feel like a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is trying to come back in and start something with you. Or was, you know, you tried to start something with them in the past. And, you know, instead of receiving what it was that, you know, how you were delivering it and um, presenting it to them, they came off very argumentative, very... Um, Nasty, another ace, ace of wands here. Page of wands. Yeah, you're trying to start something new. Very passionate about it. You got a lot of potential here for new starts with with money, with relationship. Um, you know, just a new you, basically. How, however you want to play this thing. But I see, like you starting something new as far as a business or work is concerned and i see abundance here i see abundance here everywhere for you um whatever it is that you're starting away from this relationship um is going to you know bring you a lot of abundance here this person gemini libra aquarius also wants to start something with you they see abundance with you they see abundance with you and i feel like there is a potential new start between the two of you here. That's the way I feel. And it could potentially be another um, uh, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and possibly with air in their chart or air in yours. Um, Earth sign here. Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, okay. So new starts all around you. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Ten of Pentacles right here. This is, you are really looking at, you know, starting a new, you know, having abundance for your family, having it all. And this person sees it all with you as well. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Seven of Wands. This person looks like they have a lot of um, a lot of earth in their chart as well. And you may as well, because I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys are probably, you're way more emotional, like you're way more in, in touch, in tune with, you know, being able to give and offer love. And this person is more air and earth, like the logical, tangible, tangible, you know, aspect of things. But, you know, you're more fiery, of course, you're Aries. So you probably have, you know, a good mixture of fire, um, water, and earth in your chart. Because I also feel like not only does this person probably, you know, is not not necessarily well off financially, but they're very good with money. They're very good with money, working. They probably work two jobs. I see them as... Um, you know, having a more receptive energy, like as far as, you know, emotions are concerned. They they want to be fed emotion. They want to be told that, you know, you love them, but they're probably not that that willing to offer like that. You know, they, they probably show their love in a form of, you know, tangible things here. But I also feel like for you, with this new endeavor that you're embarking on, that you are both. You embody it all with the Queen of Cups, 
Ace of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. I feel like, you know, you, you have this nice mixture of energy going on. Like you're, you're truly balanced and, um, and, um, you are manifesting good things and you're standing your ground and you, you know, you're holding fast to that. You're not letting anybody come in and, you know, infiltrate your space like that. But this person, see, they're showing up also here in the present as a page of cups they're wanting to come in and offer you something and it's a loving offer but like i said they don't have they're not very open with their emotion so what they have to offer right now is in the form of a page page of cups they do have love for you this is what they have to offer Aries. So if you guys know this person and you know exactly who I'm speaking about, then I'm not saying, you know, you should give this person a chance, but I, I feel like, you know, with um, the King of Swords under the bottom, you'll be able to discern, you know, and take away from, you know, the conversation interaction, what you need to take, take away from it. And um, I don't feel like you guys will just like push this person away. I feel like you will hear them out. And you know, if, if you want to work with this person, I feel like um, you want to work with this person, I feel like you will take the steps that you need. But you know, I wouldn't suggest just jumping into things. See how things go, you know. Okay. All right, Aries. So that is your reading for October 17th through the 23rd. And I will be speaking with you later, loves. Bye now.